We have yet another update on the very troubling situation surrounding Josh Duggar. The 33-year-old was arrested this week by federal authorities in Arkansas, who took the former reality star into custody on Wednesday, April 28. We've since learned that he's been charged with receiving and possessing child pornography, both of which he pleaded not guilty to in court on Friday. The father of six, however, remains behind bars. No bail has been set. According to legal documents, Duggar downloaded images of underage girls and or boys in May 2019, most likely from the office of his used car dealership. At least one of these downloaded images was of a child under the age of 12. Hence why it was raided in November of that year by the Department of Homeland Security. Duggar's trial date has been scheduled for Tuesday, July 6, and he will remain in custody at least for another week until a detention hearing on May 5. But here's the thing. Based on what a judge decreed in court this morning, even if he does get free on bail after the aforementioned hearing, Decker will not be permitted to return home. Why not? Because Josh will not be allowed near minors. Here's the official statement from the United States Attorney's Office in regard to the case. A Springdale man was arrested yesterday for receiving and possessing material depicting the sexual abuse of children. According to court documents, Joshua James Duggar, 33, allegedly used the internet to download child sexual abuse material. Duggar allegedly possessed this material, some of which depicts the sexual abuse of children under the age of 12 in May 2019. Duggar is charged by indictment with receiving and possessing child pornography. If convicted, he faces up to 20 years of imprisonment and fines up to $250,000 on each count. And here is what Judge Aaron Weidman said. Given the nature of the charges against him, the court would likely require a third-party custodian that could live with him and would ensure compliance with the conditions of bond. Translation: Even if a bail is set and bond is granted on May 5th, Josh will have to live with someone who has no minors living in the home, the judge stated. Josh and his emotionally abused wife Anna are parents to six kids, Mackenzie 11, Michael 9, Marcus 7, Meredith 5, Mason 3, and 17-month-old Mariella. All are considered to be minors under the law. As a result, Josh will not be allowed to live under their same roof. It's unclear at this time under what conditions he'll be allowed to see them at all. Did we mention that Anna is also pregnant with the couple's seventh child? And that Josh confessed six years ago to molesting five young girls, including his own sisters, when he was 14. And that he also confessed in 2015 to cheating on his wife through the website Ashley Madison, which arranges a bedroom made for spouses looking to commit adultery. These are all facts. In response to this arrest and extremely disturbing scandal, G. Bob and Michelle Duggar have said of their oldest child, we appreciate your continued prayers for our family at this time. The accusations brought against Joshua today are very serious. It is our prayer that the truth, no matter what it is, will come to light, and that this will all be resolved in a timely manner. We love Josh and Anna and continue to pray for their family," said Josh's lawyer. In this country, no one can stop prosecutors from charging a crime, but when you're accused, you can fight back in the courtroom, and that is exactly what Josh intends to do. Said Ginger Duggar, We are disturbed to hear of the charges against Josh. While the case must go through the legal system, we want to make it clear that we absolutely condemn any form of child abuse and fully support the authorities and judicial process in their pursuit of justice. Said Jill Duggar Dillard, Josh's sister, and her husband Derek Dillard. We just found out this information yesterday. It is very sad. After Josh's expunged police report from 2006 surfaced in 2015 and the public learned of his molestation history, 19 Kids and Counting was cancelled by TLC, said his parents back then. When Josh was a young teenager, he made some very bad mistakes, and we were shocked. We had tried to teach him right from wrong. That dark and difficult time caused us to see God like never before. Even though we would never choose to go through something so terrible, each one of our family members drew closer to God. And after extramarital relationships were revealed, in a since-edited statement on the Duggar family blog, Josh wrote, I have been the biggest hypocrite ever. While espousing faith and family values, I have secretly over the last several years been viewing pornography on the internet, and this became a secret addiction and I became unfaithful to my wife. And so on.
That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.